Hi there, this is Isaiah Bollinger with Trellis. Uh, so I'm going to quickly show you how to manage the categories in Magento in the admin panel. Um, so this is the, the Magento admin panel login. You should be able to get through it um, through your standard login with uh, your URL slash admin or whatever you customized your admin panel to be with your username and password. Once you've logged in, this is the screen you should see, the default uh, Magento admin panel. And then uh, from here, to manage the categories, you're going to go to Catalog and then go to Manage Categories. The Magento Admin Panel can be a little bit slow, so it takes some time to load. Um, this is just a test environment that I set up to, to show you guys how to do some basic uh, editing within the, the categories of Magento. So I have some, some test categories set up. Um, you'll see that it comes standard with the default category as the main root category. Um, of your Magento store, and then you can start to add some subcategories. So I'm just going to cover subcategories and some of the basic information about them so that you can start managing your categories um, in your Magento store if you're not sure how to do that yet. Um, so as you can see right now, there's category 1 and category 2. Um, and if you go to the site, those are the two categories that will show up in the default menu. And then you see the subcategory 1 underneath category 1 as set up here. So in most cases, you're going to be setting up a subcategory. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick um, right now. So there's only three required fields to set up a new category, which is name, is active, and include navigation menu. So I'm just going to do category three, is active, yes. You're going to want to set a URL key. This is for you know SEO purposes, site architecture. Um, that's going to be the link that the category is going to be for your for your new category. So I'm going to set that to category dash three lower cat lower case. Um, it's set to include navigation menu as default. Yes. So I'm going to save this category, and now I have created a new sat subcategory underneath default category. So if I refresh my site you'll see the third category is added to the navigation. Now, to quickly cover some of the things that you can do within the categories, you can add a thumbnail image, description with a WYSIWYG editor, uh, of, of actual image, not a thumbnail image, to the, to the page in the category page. Page title, meta keywords, meta description, that's some SEO stuff. Meta keywords doesn't really affect SEO anymore. Um, Google's kind of moved away from that. So you really only want to focus on the page title and meta description. Within the display settings, you can decide what you want to do as far as showing products only, static block only, static, static block and products. Most likely, you're probably going to want to do products only, potentially static block and products, where you have a, a static block is essentially a some HTML code or some static content like images, uh, it could be a video, it could be um, just text. Um, you're not really going to want to do static block only because then you're essentially just creating a content page and there are better ways to do that um, that we will show you in uh, in later videos or you can just give us a call or reach out to us if you're unsure of how to do that. Um, so most likely you're going to want to do products only. It's possible you might want to do static block and products if there's some special content that you want to show on the category. And then this is where you can choose the static block that you want um, shown if you do select one of the, the, the static block option. Um, to create, uh, if you wanted to create an anchor, that adds layered navigation to your category, which will allow you to filter by attributes on the left hand side. Um, attributes is a whole other section of Magento. That's something that I can cover in uh, future blog posts and uh, screencasts. Uh, so you can also choose the attributes that you want, um, or actually not that, yeah, the attributes that you want to uh, your listing, your product page listing to, to sort by. So if you have like 100 products on this category and you want people to be able to sort through them based on certain attributes, you can choose what attributes you want or you can just set it to all the attributes. And then you can also choose the default product listing sort by attribute, um, which one you want that to be. Um, and then you can also do layered navigation price step. Uh, this is all explained in the blog post that you'll uh, see that will be that will be attached to this uh, screencast. Um, if you put in like a hundred here, this will allow you to sort by price, which essentially so this you you really have to create this as an anchor to allow this to work. 
so that the layer navigation is active. And then uh, if you set this to like 100, you could sort by like one to one hundred, one to ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents, a hundred to one hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents, and so forth, so that you could sort through the different um, dollar amounts of the product. So this can be a really valuable feature for um, sites and consumers uh, that are you know price conscious, which is most most everybody. Um, so if you want to help those um, customers out so that they can sort based off of price, this is where you're going to be able to do that and set up the, the different price levels that you want them to sort by. Um, custom design allows you to completely customize your category page. So if you just want it to follow the default setting or the parent category uh, design settings that you already have established for a certain category, then you can go ahead and do that. Um, if you wanted to apply to the actual products as well, that design to uh, the custom design that you have set up to apply to to the products as well, you can do that also uh, on, on this section. Custom design allows you to choose uh, some a theme or a custom theme or some sort of design that you created through Magento. See, these are the, the default ones that you'll see if you just do just like a basic default of uh, Magento 1.8. 8.1 which is the latest version of Magento. This also allows you to create a custom design and have it active from in active to certain dates. So for instance if you had a you know winter design or maybe a uh, Christmas design that you only wanted active from you know for the December month, the month of December when it would really only be relevant, you could have a specific design that's only active for that month. Um, and this allows you to change the page layout. Um, I'll go into that real quick so you can see exactly how that works. So I'm clicking on category three. Um, this is what's going to happen if you just have a default Magento install and you don't select any layout updates. Uh, it's going to have the two sidebars and the products would be shown right here. So I'm going to set it to two columns with left bar so you can get an idea of what that is. So I'm just waiting for it to load. And so now you have two columns in the left sidebar. So the two the, the products are going to take up uh, two columns, whereas before they were just taking up uh, essentially one column and there was another sidebar to the right of it. Um, so you can play around with the layout options of your categories to get it to fit the design and layout um, style that you're that you're looking to achieve with your Magento e-commerce store. Custom layout update is the, you can add uh, XML tags to your category. Um, XML is a very big part of Magento. That's, that's something that I can cover in another, another you know, how-to guide or screencast in, in the future, but I'm not going to cover that in detail here. Um, category products allows you to sh see the category, pro the products that are assigned to this category. So I haven't done that for this category because I just created it. But if you go to category one, you'll see that there are two products assigned to category one. And um, if I went and looked at those products, they would have the category, you know, category one, they would be selected for category one. So I could quickly show that um, right here in, uh, in a new tab to show you how that works briefly. And you can uncheck them so that they no longer show up. Um, and this is, allows you to kind of overall manage all of your products for that category all at once whereas you can also do it on a, on a product level so let me go to like product 2 so product 2 if I go to categories it's set up for category 1 and that's as you can see it's checked off for that and so I could check off other categories and that's how why it will show up in this section for when you're looking at the the, the category level of, of your Magento site so that's pretty much a quick rundown of the the, the way that you would um, manage your categories um, one of the other awesome things about Magento is the simple and easy to use software as far as moving around categories so let's say I wanted to just change the order of my categories. I could quickly just drag and drop it. And basically instantly the, uh, the navigation order has changed. 
Um, so I could do the same thing and make category two a subcategory of category one, just like that. Um, so it's really easy to drag and drop your categories if you use WordPress menu. It's similar to that. Um, so it's pretty user friendly and you should be able to get used to it fairly quickly. So for the most part, you're probably just going to have the default category, uh, root category as your main root category. And then everything else will be subcategories of that. Um, and then, you know, category one, category three, things like that will be your main top level navigation categories. And you can have subcategories below that. And if you have something like a mega menu set up, you might even have uh, further levels of, of subcategories. So that's your uh, quick rundown of the Magento categories um, in the admin panel. Please feel free to reach out to the team at Trellis if you want any more information on how um, Mag the Magento admin panel and uh, Magento categories in the admin panel work. Thank you for watching this video and hope you learned something useful.